Madeleine Albright says the world is a mess. Yes, indeed, it is true. Former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright in an interview with Bob Schieffer of Face the Nation said that, you know what? The world is pretty much a mess. And she says there's two game changers. And I love, I love the word game changers. But she said there's two huge game changers in why the world is a mess. The first is Putin's behavior vis-a-vis, -vis, she says, the, um, Crimea and now towards Ukraine. And the fact they shot this plane down and he's created basically some, a global instability um, in that particular region, in the sort of, I guess you would call it, Euro-Asia region. And then the other thing she talks about is what's happening in the Middle East, where you have ISIS basically declaring themselves their own country. You have the, Indi you have the, the, continues, the continued battle between Israel, the Israelis and the Palestinians, not to mention all the lingering battles that have always existed in time, which are just now magnified. The, the you know, the, the relation, the horrible relationship between India and Pakistan, you know, the border across in between Afghanistan and Pakistan, and how all those things interrelate into what we, a situation where we live in right now, where the world, where I agree with Madeleine Albright, the world is utterly and totally a mess. Now, you add to that, that you have this, you know, you have tons and tons of globalization happening, you have globalization happening to the 10th degree, and layered on top of globalization is this level of nationalism that exists all across the country, including right here in America. You have this over-nationalism tied with globalization, tied in with the fact that we have two major regions of the world that are in basically free fall. And it creates the perfect storm for our current geopolitical crisis. And Matt, ladies and gentlemen, I got to tell you, if we don't work together as the world, the world, the world cannot come together to solve these crises, we will be in big trouble. This is what you call the perfect storm for possible could be World War III. But what we need to do here is not think about troops on the ground. And I've said this before, I've said this a couple times, and I'll say it again. But we need to figure out and think about what we can do to make sure that we use diplomacy and we start talking to each other. Let's have conversations. We live in the age of the internet and YouTube and cell phones. Let's have conversations. Let's break down the walls that divide us and try to create world peace by talking to each other and working out our differences instead of using bombs, instead of using tanks, instead of using ships. Let's try using our voices. I'm just saying. I'm just saying.